So uh, to make uh, kind of it's more realistic, uh, we considered uh, three real portfolios, um, uh, which uh, in our um, opinion kind of uh, they model uh, three strategies uh, for uh, three types of banks. So we have typical retail bank, which use interest rates and uh, some interest rate options to uh, mitigate uh, gap between asset and liabilities. Uh, we have uh, universal bank uh, with uh, significant activity uh, on IR derivatives again for asset liabilities, uh, but also trading books uh, uh, for corporates, uh, for currency swaps, vanilla options, and so on. And finally, C is investment bank with uh, so in proportion uh, interest rate of FX derivatives are now not the biggest part. Uh, now there are also equity, exotics, uh, commodities, uh, structured, credit, and so on. And um, uh, this uh, analysis is based on our joint paper with Risk Dynamics, uh, which we published in December 2012. Uh, so um, for uh, we ran for this uh, for this uh, portfolios. Uh, so you see, like each of these five groups uh, has uh, three. Um, three columns corresponding to uh, each of this portfolio. Um, and the uh, blue uh, retail, of course, it's smaller because uh, it has much uh, better counterparts. Um, so uh, basically, we assume that each of the uh, portfolios uh, has notion of 10 billion, but quality of counterparts and, uh, as I said, uh, a quality of trades or structure of trades is different. So proprietary has uh, counterparties of uh, uh, lower grades and uh, much riskier uh, trades, uh, while retail is, uh, has much better counterparties and also mostly interest rate and so on. So uh, of course, blues are always lower than reds. Reds are, are lower than greens, but uh, what uh, we would like to talk about. So first of all, uh, these two, two most uh, leftmost groups are um, are default uh, counter, uh, capital charges. These are Basel II capital charges, and these three are uh, CVA capital charges. So to get uh, to get uh, the total, you have to add them. Like IMM, you can add with advanced. Um, or IMM you can add, uh, you add with standard uh, IMM, and CM you can uh, add with uh, standard CM. So here we have uh, three uh, total combinations. Uh, but uh, first, uh, let's uh, notice that advanced um, is or is much smaller. Advanced CV capital charges much smaller than standardized. Uh, capital charges. Uh, once again, advanced is calculated using uh, Monte Carlo, while standardized is, uh, uh, can be calculated you without Monte Carlo, just using a very simple methodology. Uh, and same here, when we calculate RWA, default capital charges, again, um, uh, what we see in this uh, group uh, calculated using internal uh, model method IMM is much smaller than calculating using uh, simpler methodology. So basically, uh, the conclusion is obvious uh, that investment in uh, better uh, analytics and better uh, technology pays because you then save a lot on your, if you get approval by from regulators, then you get uh, uh, a lot of saves. Uh, another interesting uh, uh, detail which uh, I wanted to bring your attention to is that uh, usually we hear that uh, Basel III is uh, charge, capital charge is much bigger than uh, than uh, Basel II. Uh, but uh, here we don't really see this. We see that uh, these are Basel II capital charges and these are Basel III. So yes, Basel III for, in some instances are uh, bigger, but they are kind of comparable. And if you look at, uh, for example, proprietary uh, IMM, then you see that Basel II is even bigger than Basel III. So uh, here we just have to remind, want to remind uh, everyone that Basel II also uh, 
uh, had pretty big uh, capital charge, uh, and uh, when we talk about uh, capital charges, uh, how they change and so on, we have to remember this uh, component as well. Um, sorry. Uh, here I basically describe what I already uh, told uh, and explained all the graphs. 